Welcome to IntelliCam. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I tool pack a two sided wooden uh, coin using Cut3D. There's a companion video for this on the IntelliCam website that shows it cutting on the IntelliCam Precision 23 CNC router. So the first thing I do is I open the file, and there it is. That's the uh, top side, and if I click the bottom button, flips it over to the bottom side. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of the coin and make it three and three quarter inches. I'm also going to exaggerate the Z so I unlock the ratio and I'll increase the Z axis up to 0.6 of an inch. And when I click apply, you can see the the uh, file has been exaggerated in the uh, in the Z. Makes for a more interesting relief. So finally, on this first stage, I'll select that I'm going to machine it top and bottom, and then I press next. The second panel is telling uh, what material I'm using, material I'm using, and where are my Z zeros for the uh, CNC machine. So the piece I've got, I've got a piece of cherry wood, and it's four and a half inches, uh, and it's about an inch and an eighth thick. Oops. Eighth thick. And I'm going to put my start point in the upper right corner. The Z0 is uh, at the top of the material. That's where I set the tip of the router bit using the uh, automatic tool height sensor on the IntelliCAM machine. And I'm going to use the model to find the outside boundary of where I'm cutting, and I'm going to put an extra quarter of an inch uh, that'll be cut outside of the material. When I click apply, you can see that the material now extends out beyond the actual file. So the next thing I have to do is I have to set the cut plane, and that's the plane between the top and the bottom of the model. So I'll go in my side view, and I see that the plane is right at the top, or at the bottom of the top of, of the piece. So I'm going to move that line down so that is about the middle of the coin. And I'm going to uh, do a little bit of an overcut uh, because I'm, I'll be using a ball nose bit. I don't want to leave uh, the, the kerf. And I need to add tabs to the model. So I'll do a the uh, overhead view. And to click tabs, you we add tabs. I'm okay with the default size. and you just touch it on the model where you want the tab to be placed. And four tabs should hold it in there. And you can see the tabs. So I just move now to the tool pathing section. So stage three is the rough tool path. And I'm going to use a 1 8 inch ball nose. That's quite a small file. If I use something bigger, I, I would lose too much detail. And these are the default settings for the tool, which are OK. But because it's a rough tool path, I'm going to uh, change the step over rate. I'm going to increase it so it hogs out more material. And I'm good with everything else. So I calculate the tool path. And you see it'll calculate the top tool path and the bottom tool path at the same time. And there's the, uh, the tool path. The blue area is where the tool is cutting material, and the red area is where it's traversing in the air. And I just click on the bottom to see the bottom. Now it looks good. 
So next is the finishing tool path. And I've already got my 8th inch tool selected. I'm using the same tool all the way through so I don't need to use a tool changer. Uh, and this time I will stick with the 15% uh, step over rate. And on here, the, uh, the, the raster angle, I'll do it at 45 degrees. But I'm going to create an extra pass at 90 degrees to the first, and this will significantly reduce any sanding or finishing I have to do at the end. I probably won't have to do any. And now it'll calculate the tool pass. And there's the, f the uh, finished tool path, so it's quite a fine mesh. Now I'll move to the cutout, and this is where I can cut it right out of the material. Um, I'll put a cutout tool path in there. And again, I'm using the same tool. Uh, I'll just put that at zero. I'm not going to leave any material. But I am going to preserve the tabs during cutout because I'm just going to keep it in there because it makes a nice sample. And I calculate the finish tool path. And there it is, quite a simple tool path. And here's the preview section. So I'll preview the rough tool path first. And the uh, Vectrix uh, products have an excellent simulation. And what you see on the screen is really what you'll get. And I can, uh, because I'll be cutting it out of cherry, I might as well switch the visual to cherry. So that's the, uh, the, the, the rough tool path. Here's the finishing tool path, and you can see it's on that 45 degree raster angle. So there is the, uh, that's what the finished tool path should look like, and you can see, you can see very slight lines in there from the cutter, uh, but almost no sanding will be required. And to have a look at the bottom side, you do the same thing for the bottom is a rough tool path and a finished tool path. So that's the bottom and there's the, uh, the top side. And uh, that looks excellent. So the final thing to do is just to save the tool paths. I'm going to save them as two separate tool paths for the top side and then uh, I'll flip the material over on the machine uh, and I'll cut the bottom side. So because I'm using the same bit, it'll save them all into one file. And uh, I've also chosen the IntelliCam G-code inch. There's a G-code uh, millimeter or uh, inch. So I'll just name this Dragon Coin and save it. And then choose the bottom file. I'll just call this Dragon Bottom and save it. And those files will be picked up directly by the uh, IntelliCam machine controller, uh, and it'll be ready to ready to go. So that's uh, that's all there is to it. It's quite simple. The uh, guys at Vetric have done a great job making it really easy. So just a quick uh, review. Is screen 1 is where you resize your model and say what type of, uh, what sides you're going to be machining. Screen 2 is the one you do have to remember where your material start point is. Um, the IntelliCAM machine has a simulation on the machine, so w you can run that ahead of time if you can't remember. Um, but if you, uh, if you started in the, the center and it start point there, you, you won't uh, hit your material properly. Set zeros, you set set zeros, you put your tabs in, your plane position, uh, and then the next steps, uh, three steps are for your roughing, finishing, and cut out tool path, and finally your simulation, and then, uh, and then saving the tool path. Well, thanks for watching, and for more information, please visit us uh, at www.intellicam.com.